A single star reigns over planet Earth, the sun. This supreme ruler grants life and takes it away, triggering cycles of withering heat and bone-breaking cold, pushing life to the very brink. Under the sun's command, merciless forces of wind and water rage across the planet's surface. Animals must adapt to the harsh seasons or run for their lives. From pole to icy pole, in places life shouldn't exist, the planet's ultimate survivors carry on fighting the odds to live another day. Antarctica. This is a kingdom defined by extremes. It's the driest, highest, and coldest continent on Earth, plunging to 129 below zero. Even in summer, breath freezes instantly, turning into ice crystals before your eyes. Ice sheets up to two miles thick in tomb mountains as high as the Alps. Antarctica is so vast, if it melted, sea levels around the globe could rise a catastrophic 200 feet. But now, winter sets in, and the continent's frosty grip advances. The sea ice expands relentlessly at more than two square miles per minute. In a matter of months, a continent bigger than the United States and Mexico combined nearly doubles in size. This is the most inhospitable place on Earth. And yet, as temperatures plummet, one animal heads straight into the teeth of the brutal winter. The emperor penguin, four feet tall, 90 pounds, and as wide around as a man's chest. Their inch thick plumage boasts the highest feather density of any bird, around 100 feathers per square inch. Good thing. They're about to face the harshest conditions on Earth. They trek up to 100 miles across the ice to the place where they hatched. One of only about 35 rookeries in Antarctica and a perfect shelter from winter's 100 mile an hour winds. Males advertise themselves with a series of mating calls and displays. If a female hollers back, a match is made. During the three to five week courtship period, the partners continue their slow motion duet. Out here, just staying alive eats up every ounce of energy. The couple takes short walks. And breeds frequently. Emperors stick with the same partner for the entire season. But only 15% pair up with the same mates the next year. After several weeks, the female lays a single precious egg, but her pregnancy has taken its toll, and she's far too weak to incubate it. So the male steps in. At minus 40 degrees, the transfer must be quick, or the egg will freeze. The male keeps it warm under his brood pouch and steals himself for a cold, dark few months while the half-starved females trek a hundred miles back to the ocean to feed. 
As the sun abandons Antarctica, it reappears at the Northern Pole. The Arctic is still locked in winter, but spring is coming. Unlike Antarctica, a frigid land surrounded by frozen sea, the Arctic is a vast frozen ocean surrounded by land. As winter comes to a close, the sun sweeps away four months of darkness. A polar bear emerges from her den. For five months, she's been confined in a crypt of ice, not much larger than her own body. Freedom feels good, but playing around can be deadly out here when you've got newborns. Hungry males have been known to cannibalize cubs just to stay alive. The family will stick around the den for about 12 days, giving the cubs a chance to adjust to the icy temperatures and develop their strength. But the mountainside's a treacherous nursery. Staying close to mom is the cub's only chance for survival. critical to fatten the cubs quickly. It helps that the polar bear's milk is 33% fat, the richest of almost any animal on the planet. Birth is timed to increase the odds of survival. She made it about a year ago, but her embryos didn't implant for several months, so her cubs were born in the warmth and safety of the den. Until now, the entire family has lived off of mom's stored reserves. After more than five months without a meal, she must eat. But first, she has to get to the sea ice. There, she can hunt ring seals, her main source of prey. She just needs to get her cubs headed in the right direction. But this is dangerous business. Staying behind means certain death. If they don't move soon, they'll starve. Playtime is over. It's tricky terrain, but speed is critical. She must get them to the sea ice before it breaks away from shore. Adult bears swim well, but the cubs will freeze in the frigid water. Nearly half die in their first year, drowned, starved, or killed by predators. It's a loss the species can hardly afford. As our planet warms, the ice breaks up earlier each year 